Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually going to be doing a um, cook with me video. Uh, it's going to be the um, chicken pot pie, homemade chicken pot pie, semi homemade. I don't know if anybody remembers on Food Network, uh, Sandra Lee, uh, she would do like semi homemade, like use canned stuff for certain things and all that. Anyway, so it's a semi homemade chicken pot pie um, tonight for dinner. And so I thought I'd show you how you, we make hours here at our house if you have not already please hit that subscribe button the notification bell so you know anytime i post a new video but anyways let's jump right on into the video so the first thing you're going to need is actually some already pre-made pie crust it comes with two in the box you'll need one for the bottom one for the top two cans of mixed vegetables any brand one can of cream of mushroom soup one can of cream of chicken and you can see I already have my casserole dish and um, here I'm pulling out of, out of the pot the chicken that I boiled and as you can see it's about two medium sized pieces all together um, and then I have my meat claws where we shred um, brisket and things like that off of the grill so I like to use those whenever I shred the chicken makes it easier and then I have garlic salt, cayenne pepper, and black pepper for the seasonings. Here I'm just going to be shredding the chicken. Once all the chicken is shredded, now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my pan so my pie crust does not stick to the pan. We like to make ours in a square pan and not in a round pan. So you can easily do that just by manipulating how the pie crust lays in the pan. Or you can use the round one. Either one is whatever you prefer. In the process, my husband was cooking something else as an appetizer. Okay, so now I have all the ingredients in a bowl. I'm letting that pie crust sit for just a minute in the pan. But I'm gonna add all the ingredients to this bowl and mix everything up so that it can get ready to go into the pie crust. So now that everything is mixed, I'm putting that right into on top of the bottom pie crust. And then I'm going to add the other pie crust to the top. You need to do the same thing with it. If you're going to do the square, you have to manipulate how it fits over the top of the actual pie crust. It's not the prettiest, but it is so good. And you want to make sure you cut an X in the middle so that it doesn't bubble up during the baking process. This is what it looks like. After baking for 40 minutes at 375, this is the finished pie. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button to my channel and the notification bell. Have a great day.